welcome to another build video so this what you see on the screen is what we are supposed to have now except some details on the Z carrier which we are coming back to but let's let's print and assemble the Z carriers so this guy this guy so let's go to the C carrier and this is what we are going to print and assemble it's gonna be just five minutes and so there are three parts so let's look into how we print those parts go to Cura open the wiking folder part print files Z part files and go to uh, we slide C carrier or might be called C top in your folder not important it looks like this so turn it on its head or on its back if you want and use some support touching build plates and uh, a brim for just keeping the support in place And slice go to layer view it's gonna look like this so for this part you can use uh, three perimeters and about 30% infill would be fine so you need four of that one and we need some forks and some thumb screws so let's place the fork on the side let's have a look like this and then the thumb screw on its head like this arrange you need four of each and slice these guys so just you also need some uh, just a little bit support up inside the nut slot up here so four of those and you're done so let's assemble this guy so first of all let's go to the wheels and let's uh, place the wheels in inside with the shims again the shims are very important these shims you need to have a lot of these shims I can't stress that enough those are important for spinning the wheels uh, smooth so just place the bolts and the washer and the lock nuts with the washers I like to use lock nuts here those are fine like this and then leave the fork open because if you follow my instructions you already placed the X, uh, XY gantry on top of the frame so uh, we need to put the fork onto the V-slot with the, um, the M5 uh, hexagon uh, bolt which is going inside the fork like this I mean like this so just slide that onto the v-slot then place the wheel so like this with with the shims again and then the bolt and the washer and the nut and tighten just about right so when you've done that you can slide on the, um, the rest of the carrier let me just get that in place like this update please like that and then you just tighten the the thumb screw with uh, just about r right tension um, 
the C carrier can be uh, it can slide up and down but it doesn't have to fall down it can be a little bit tighter than falling down because we are adding some more weight to them so let's go to the model view and just get our C carriers back so you do these what I told now you do that four times on all the all the C axis so we can um, we can later in the next video I can start on the on the bed frame on the bed assembly so that will be in the next one so this was just a short one for the C carriers just to get you going so I hope you're happy happy with that and thanks so much for the support buying me a coffee it's awesome I uh, might even get to buy uh, some sound equipment because I know the sound is crap so thanks for that and uh, happy building welcome back